I fuck with Shawty cause she bout her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashion. It's your here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. Hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, guys, I'm bringing you a hair video. Um, I haven't done a hair video in a while, so why not? And I just want to make a video for my Can't Corn Roll Committee. You know, listen. We all didn't get it. I don't know why we didn't get the um, the talent. I, don't, I just don't know why we didn't get the skill. But some of us just didn't get it. I didn't get it. So I cannot braid to the scalp. I cannot cornrow, y'all. And I know it's a lot of us out there that cannot. And we just need a way to really lay our wigs down. So today I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing to my hair. How I lay my wigs down. And it's a flat install for me. I have no problems at all. I can take down my hair, redo it if I need to. I can make it lay flatter if I needed to. This has worked for me for a while. Once I moved out of my mom's house, cause she used to braid my hair down for me. So once I moved out, it was just like, okay, I have to figure this out. And this is what I came up with. So if you guys wanna see how to install your wig without cornrows, make sure you keep on watching. Okay, so before I get started, the first thing I'm gonna do is just part my hair into sections and then it'll be easier to work with. So let's get started with parting my hair. Okay, so I've wet this section of my hair in the back and I'm just gonna add some, I'm just gonna add some texture ID to my hair. And after that, I'm gonna add my black Jamaican castor oil. So with this, of course, when you're putting your hair up, you wanna make sure that your hair is moisturized and you know, it's still well taken care of even though you have it up in braids. So that's my objective here is to just make sure my hair is moisturized and make sure I seal it with an oil. Making sure your hair is detangled really helps this process go smoother so you're not struggling to braid or struggling to part at all. So now that I have everything moisturized, I'm just going to part here. I think I'm gonna do three plaits in this section. So I'm just gonna part here so I basically parted that section in half and now I'm gonna add my oil just to seal in the moisture. And literally y'all, so all you need to do is three strand twist or a single braid, whatever you wanna call it. I'm just gonna add one single braid and you wanna make sure that the root it's flat. You don't want to have this puffy like this. You want to make sure that it's flat as possible when you're braiding. So I also have a regular brush just to make sure I'm getting this as flat as possible. Right here. Okay. So now I think I'm ready to braid this section. And I'm just gonna take three parts like this and I'm just gonna braid it. Nothing special at all. I'm just gonna braid it. Sailing overseas and just drape me in Gucci, no. All I ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you alone. All I ever asked was you to show me some love, kisses and hugs. No, I never had an issue go to the club with your boys, baby. My ends, I don't really worry about too much. I just twist them up at the end. And that is it. This is how my braid looks. That's it. And I just do that all over my hair. And I don't have it braided to the scalp. I do feel like this is less tension on my scalp, less tension on my hair. So it might even be a better way than cornrows. That's what I'm gonna tell myself since I can't braid to the scalp. I'm gonna tell myself that this is better for me anyway, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got one done and I think I'm gonna put two right here. 
So this one section, I'm just gonna split it down the middle here so that I can do two braids. My parting isn't the best in this, like, it's literally nothing perfect at all. Nothing perfect at all. I'm just going through and doing single braids. That's it. And just like that, we have one section done. That's it. That's all I do. It's as single braids all around my hair. So I'll have three here, three here, and probably um two or three on both of these sides as well this is the most important part because that's where your closure or your frontal will be laying so i'll see you guys when i get to the front I finished braiding my hair down. This is what it looks like. Just single braids all over. I did three single braids in each section. So now it's time to put my wig on because I can't just talk the talk without showing y'all that I actually do have a flat wig foundation once I install my wig. So with this, I literally just kind of, I'll braid them together or twist them together or just simply bring them back like this and i'll bobby pin okay so i'm just going to twist these together and i'm going to pull all of the left side to the right side and all of the right side up to the left side if that makes sense so i'm just going to pull them up right here and just simply pin it right there. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. I'm going to turn around in a second. So I'm just going to pin this right here. Pin that. Okay, so I just twisted it together and pulled it up to the side. Twisted these, put it all the way around here. I'm going to twist these and pull them all the way around up here. Okay? Okay. So, have my hair pinned all the way down now. So, I'm going to give you guys a 360 of what it looks like. Probably looks crazy in the back. I have no idea. Matter of fact, let me see. <laughs> let me see what I look like. It don't look that crazy. But, yes, I just braided them all up in single braids. Brought each side to the other side, this side, this side. And you can't tell me this is not a flat foundation, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and install my wig. I usually wear a cap to just protect my hairline, but I don't have one. So, I'm not wearing a cap today. This is what I'm going to be using, even Wonder Lace Bun, to seal my wig to lay my wig down or whatever so yeah let's get started throwing this wig on okay so i prepared my girl and now i'm about to lay my wig i'm definitely gonna need to use a concealer on my uh on my part because i colored the hair to be darker than it was and my lace is like black now but nevertheless let's lay it down I'm just gonna do this. Look at it, it looks all black. I don't know if y'all can see it. So I'm just gonna move this back a little. And this is how I apply my wigs. I know, you know, most people don't like to apply their wigs on their edges, but honestly, if you are removing your wig correctly, you really shouldn't have a problem. So what I'm gonna do is just apply, this is a closure, so I'm just gonna apply the glue right here. And I'm gonna do two, two layers. I usually do like two or three. It just depends on how long you wanna wear your wig for this. This is really good. 
I'm probably never gonna use anything else to lay my wings down. I love this stuff. Now I'm just gonna pull my wig down. in the middle and I'm just gonna press this down here like that and let it sit for maybe 10 to 15 minutes I'm going to let this sit for a minute and then I'm going to come back show y'all how flat everything is looking, how good it's looking, even though I did not use cornrows. So, I'll be right back. So I'm done laying my wig. It looks good. It's flat on the top, as you can see. It's flat all around, as you can see. And y'all, look, I'm telling you, you don't need the cornrows, sis. It's okay. It's time for us to stop whining, okay? I know wig season coming back, so now it's time for us to find out how can we lay our wigs ourselves even though we can't do cornrows. And this is how. All you have to do is use single braids. You can also use twists if you can't braid. You just want to make sure that your roots are as flat as possible and make sure that your whole foundation is as flat as possible as well. I hope that you guys like this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I taught you something, a little something. If I did, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe. That's all I have for you guys today. So may your curls pop and your grind never stop flavor squad. I'm out of here.